A very good morning to everybody and welcome back to Firewood at the Furnace. If you've been following along the last couple of weeks, you know we've got a lot of wood laying here in the yard and we're trying to get to it to get it processed to keep caught up so we don't get too far behind. So over the course of the past few day, several days, I've been processing some wood. Uh, I was able to split all the wood that, was, that we bucked up in last week's video. I bucked up a little more, split a little more, but today we are going to tackle firewood processing start to finish. You're going to see some cutting, you're going to see some splitting, you're going to see some loading. But one thing I want to talk to you about before we get going here this morning is you know I have two dump trailers. Both of them are Kaufman, same make, same model, same year. Uh, so they're, they're pretty much identical trailers. But one of these trailers is not like the other and I'm going to tell you why, so stick around. So I was processing some wood the other evening, uh, not on camera, I wasn't recording, but I needed to use the skid loader to move some stuff out of the way and to get some stuff organized for bucking and just, just moving things around. And I jumped in the skid loader and when I got in, I saw a hornet flying around. So I kind of swatted at it. Well, little did I know that in the two days since I had last used the skid loader, they had started forming a little nest in there. And two of them hammered me right in the side of the head. I mean, hit me hard. You ain't never seen a big man coming out of a little skid loader so fast in your life. <laughs> but anyway, here is what we're going to process today. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get all this bucked up laying here, and we're going to get it split and loaded in the trailer. Uh, and I'm going to show you the trailer that we're going to load it into, and then I'm going to show you the other trailer and see if you can tell me what's different. Once we get these logs bucked up, we'll get them on the Easton made and get them up the conveyor and into the back of this trailer. Uh, you can see that I had already started uh, some of the rounds that were laying on the ground there. I had already processed, so we started loading the trailer here a little bit in the front. Uh, but let me show you the other trailer here. I might be hyping this up a little too much for you, but there's an obvious difference, right? This trailer is full of processed and split wood, and this trailer's not. So we're going to correct that today and by the end of this video both trailers will once again be identical. Let's get the saw fired up, get it warmed up, and we'll start bucking. So this first log that we're going to buck here on top, it's got a little bit of rot on the very outside, basically just the bark, but the wood in the center looks really good. So we'll see when we get cut into it here, but I think we're going to be okay with that log. The rest of it Say it looks pretty good. Pretty solid all the way through. Just this little, like I said, pretty much just the bark. Not much rot at all. So that'll, all that'll be good. Really good firewood. That's that. 
we're ready to start splitting now. That whole load that was laying right here is all cut up. Uh, we still got this load, a little bit of locust and white oak here that we didn't touch, but I'm thinking that this, this is all entirely oak. I'm thinking that this will probably fill up the trailer, and if not, we'll buck up a little bit more to fill it out. So let's fire up the splitter and the conveyor and get loading.
Well, we had a few rounds left over. Not too many though. Probably only about 12 to 15 rounds here that are cut that there wasn't room for on the trailer. So there is the first trailer. And now the second trailer. So now I have matching trailers again. This all is going to my 10 cord order, Greenwood. He's uh, staying a year ahead. If you weren't up to speed on that, I do have a customer that's staying a year ahead and get taking 10 full cord each year. This one is 80% oak and about 20% maple. And this load is 100% oak. So two good loads coming to him. And if you're watching this, sir, this will be coming to your place here soon. And you got a couple of really good looking loads here. All right, so that will be it for today. Thanks for joining us. Got uh, another trailer load full of wood. Be heading out here real soon. But uh, don't forget that in two days will be your first Friday's video, the bonus video that comes to you every month on the first Friday. And this will be for the month of August. So like I said, that's gonna be it today. I appreciate you all being here. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Tell your friends about the channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a great week.